so um, welcome to the second lecture so in this section we're going to create our first interaction in the last trial I was trying to explain the meaning of an interaction so an interaction is an instance of the conversation between the bot and the user so an interaction is that instance where the bot says something and the user replies to that thing so to build a conversation between the bot and the user we have to um, add a lot of interactions and join them together through connections so the first thing when we do uh, when we create the bot is to add an interaction so we're going to add our first interaction here by clicking on this button here when we do that we get um, this list where we can choose the type of interaction that we want so we have a lot of interaction interaction types. We have the bot statement, we have translation, we have email extraction, URL extraction. We also have um, number, address, and dates, and in fact, phone. But the bot statement is the most used type of interaction because it typically just allows the user to reply with the text. So if we, if we were choosing translation, that 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 implies that we want the user to reply in a language such that so that the bot can can translate it. If we were to choose email extraction, then we want the user to re reply with an email address. And if it was URL we chose, then we want the user to type a URL. So that is how um, types of interaction work. So in this first interaction, we want to introduce the. Um, but we want an employer to introduce herself and her company. We want another to talk about um, her bookstore and also herself. So we're going to call this interaction introduction. So under you know this post statement is selected here. So if I come here, I can you know rename um, this interaction. This is the interaction name. So I can give this interaction a name so that I know what I am doing. So I can just say introduction so this interaction is introduction so i'm going to click on add and by adding i i get the empty but is empty message to disappear i get this new section which is dedicated to this introduction interaction so this introduction interaction has this section to itself only so we have five items on the general menu the general horizontal menu we have the bot message we have the cards we have connections we have automations and we have configure so the bot message um basically means the message of the bot that is the primary message of the bot that is the message the bot is going to type when that interaction has been reached. So the bot reply upon reaching this interaction. It has been explained under here that the bot message is the bot reply upon reaching this interaction. So this is the first interaction introduction. You see, it has it has one here. If I were to create a new interaction, it shouldn't have this one. So one signifies that this interaction is the first one. And here I can highlight data I'm, I'm i'm going to talk about extracting data later i can also check the connections that i have for these interactions i don't have connections you know earlier i explained that we to build a conversation we have to create a lot of interactions and connect them together so i i presently do not have any connection for this interaction that's why i have no connections so i can also check on you know menu and I can test the interaction or rename it or copy it or I can even delete it. So that is about that. Then inside this interaction um, pane, I mean the edition, the editing pane, I have the bot message. And the bot message has prior responses. We're going to be working with the bot message very, very often. In fact, it is the primary, um, is the primary area where we develop the bots. We have Prior response. Prior response allows us to um, extract or use information that have been that our uh, bots have collected in former interactions. Now, for this particular instance, we have only one interaction, so we don't have any other interaction. So if we, we don't have, um, we can't use prior response because we don't have any other interaction. 
so we also have custom variable we can set custom variable we can set attributes and i explained earlier that if you want to learn more about all these things um you, you can always get them in the documentation here the smart book documentation and this tutorial is just uh it's just to so although we're going to be using uh, some of these functions, but this tutorial is just to get you going about Smashbot and um, both developments using Smashbot. So apart from custom variables, we also have attributes. We have chart bubbles, which we use. In fact, you get addicted to chart bubbles. Chart bubbles are very, very useful. We use them almost all the time. And you can also embed media into your bot message. So all these, all these functions here, all, all, of, all of these functions here are for bot message. So I can add arithmetic operation also. I can also add logic operations. Then I can select interactions and add those interaction into my post message. Well, I'm going to explain how that works later. But I, I can check the interactions I have. You know, for now, I have only the introduction interaction. So when I click on this interaction, I have only introduction. So I can use data that comes from introduction in other interactions. But now I don't have any other interactions. So this is not useful. So that is that. So uh, in the bot message, we want, you know, for this introduction, we want um, Andrea to introduce um, the bookstore on herself. So we can say um, hello there. Welcome to Andrea Bookstore. Oh, Andrea Library. I am Andrea. It is nice to meet you. So Andrea introduces the Andrea Library, and Andrea goes on to say, "My name is Andrea. I mean, I am Andrea. It is nice to meet you." Now, this is the message of the bot. That's why it calls it's called bot message. This is what the user will see when they enter the chat. So Andrea can even go on to ask for the user's name. Andrea can say, um, what is your name? So Andrea goes on to say, what is your name? So user comes to the chat, Andrea types, hello there. Welcome to Andrea Library. I am Andrea. It is nice to meet you. What is your name? Now that is interesting, right? But it might be a little bit, um, you know, a little bit um, too forward for Andrea to have asked for the user's name. We might want to make it a little more interesting by delaying the second line. We might want Andrea to wait uh, to type for, for, for a second before saying what is your name. Now we have a functionality in Snatchbot that allows us to delay messages. Just like you, you have you have it in WhatsApp when you chat with someone and the person start typing, you see and you know that the person is typing. It shows it's WhatsApp tells you that oh this person is typing. So we can we can we can also apply that characteristic to um snatch bots bots. So we can we can make this um first line have a delay. I mean I mean the second line we can delay it. So what all we're gonna do is we're gonna come into this first line. So I'm going to enter a new line under it. So in this new line, I am going to create a um, I'm going to create a delay in this new line such that after this first line is read, so Andrea types for uh, for however long I specify, then Andrea asks for the user's name. So to do that, I say uh, we're going to use chat bubbles the other time. I said we're going to be using it very very often. So chat bubbles are very very useful. In fact, we use them all the time. So chat bubbles. Uh, what we're going to use to achieve this so when we click on chat bubbles we have two options we can include an, an instant response or a delayed response now an instant response is not what we want right we want the response to be delayed so we're going to click on delayed response so, so that so that the bot can delay before saying what is your name so when i click on delayed response i'm going to get a code yeah i'm going to get this code so this code basically just tells Snatchbot to wait for x x x x second before typing what is your name. So when a user comes to the chat, Andrea says, "Hello there, welcome to Andrea Library. I am Andrea. It is nice to meet you." Andrea waits for x x x second, and Andrea says, "What is your name?" So I am going to replace this x x x s with the amount of second I want Andrea to type. So I am going to say three seconds. So Andrea is going to type for three seconds before saying 
this last line before before asking what is your name so that is just how that works so under um, introduces ourselves in the library then under with types for three seconds then under ask me for my name so that is that so I, after doing that saving then is now updated so if i want to test this out i can you know i, I want to make sure that the text chart is toggled on so i'm going to get a a, a widget a chart widget a web chart widget by the bottom right corner so when i when i come here i'm going to see andrea so i can click on andrea and you know chart with andrea so here we have what we have developed already i can i can refresh the chart to start from the beginning so andrea says hello there that's for three seconds and ask me for my name right that is very interesting so hello there welcome to andrea library it is nice to meet you what is your name well my name is michael i can just tell andrea that right so my name is michael i'm going to reply andrea so andrea repeats the same thing again well that is quite you know quite unserious right that is not fine we don't want andrea to repeat the same thing again we want andrea to continue the conversation and not have to go back to the first interaction but well, why did andrea do this well it's because we don't have any other interaction so andrea has nothing else to talk about that's why Andrea goes back to the first interaction again after the user have replied their name. Now this this highlighted area is an interaction that is represented by introduction. So in introduction, this is the bot message. Hello there, welcome to Andrea Library. I'm Andrea. It's nice to meet you. What is your name? That is the bot message. Now this is the user's response. So that is that is um that is um. The user's response so these two messages these two sets of messages are uh, one interaction so this what the bot says and what the user replies is one interaction that is represented by introduction so if i had if i had um, other interactions which i'm going to create later i can link them so that the bot can continue to talk about other things when the user replies their name I wouldn't have to you know, go back to the former interaction again. So in the next tutorial, we'll see how to how to create more interaction and link them together, so that when the user replies their name, Andrea can go on to um, talk about other things.